Hey guys, it's October 20th, my 20th horror movie review for October 2020, and this movie is Session 9. It is one of my favorite horror movies, and I would probably definitely say that it would be in my top 10. I've said that about some other movies, but I've seen this a long time ago. I've seen it a few times. I don't know every detail about this movie, and I haven't watched it recently, unfortunately, but uh, I think that I can talk about it enough. There's not really a whole lot to say about it. The plot's kind of simple, but kind of complex at the same time. It, it's a movie that kind of requires multiple viewings. It's another movie I didn't know that Scream Factory made a Blu-ray of. I have a DVD, but I'm very proud to own that. I think I remember renting this from Family Video, and this is... Another movie back when I was really getting into upcoming horror movies.net or whatever that website was, and I found out about Bad Taste and so many different movies, and Session 9 was on there. And this movie was supposed to be like a made for TV movie or something for the USA Network, I don't know, but this movie is phenomenal to me, and it oozes with atmosphere, and that's the main thing about this movie is that. It's basically about a group of guys who go into an old sanitarium to uh, clear out the asbestos, I guess. So it's this cleaning crew, basically. They're taking out, you know, the poisonous stuff that was in there. And it's just crazy what goes on in there. And uh, I don't think that the movie is so clear about what's going on. I mean, kind of. I think it's kind of like a haunting kind of story, but, you know, with ghosts, like in the sanitarium. But as you see in the background, like possession, madness. <laughs> uh, basically, like one guy disappears, I think, and maybe people start disappearing, but I don't remember how many are in the original group. Not a lot. Like maybe, is there like four, four guys or something? I don't know. There's the leader of the crew, but, like, I think, you know, one of them ends up discovering, like, a tape room where there was a recording of um, one of the inmates or whatever uh, has, like, multiple personalities. And those tapes that he listens to are really creepy. And the atmosphere is really creepy. And, like, at the beginning of the movie, I think it shows, like, a chair in a hallway or something, and it's, like flipped upside down or it starts off like flipped upside down like the whole picture and then it rotates so it has kind of like a surrealism to it too um i just want to read the back of the case and then i'll give more spoilers and talk about what else i remember about this but the main thing is like atmosphere it all takes place basically inside of this um sanitarium or whatever and uh it's just awesome location it's just Eerie. Okay, it says, Deliciously Disturbing, the Most Terrifying Psychological Chiller Since the Blair Witch Project by Andrew Johnston of U.S. Weekly. It says, It looms out of the woods like a dormant beast. And I can't even imagine how spectacular this would be on Blu-ray, actually, with like really high-quality video. It would be just awesome. And the sound. Um, so it says, It looms out of the woods like a dormant beast grand, imposing, abandoned, and deteriorating, the Danvers State Mental Hospital, closed down for 15 years, is about to receive five new visitors. Okay, so there's a group of five, basically, then. Donning protective gear, the men of the Hazmat Elimination Company venture into the eerily, eerily vast and vacant asylum that is filled with an evil and mysterious past. Rampant patient abuse, medieval medical, medieval medical procedure, and rumor, rumors of demonic possession are some of the many dark secrets the hospital holds. But then, so do each of the men. Remember, like, one of the guys that goes up missing, um, one of the other guys sees him, like, later on with, like, his back turned to him. And he's, like, calling him out, like, hey, like, there he is, like, hey, what, what are you doing, what's going on? And, like, his back's just turned to him, and it's just, it's creepy. Basically, I think that, I'm going to just give spoilers, because I don't care, <laughs> but, because I want to add a little more to this video, talk about what I remember, but basically, at the end, 
we find out that one of the main people, maybe like the boss or whatever, has like killed killed everybody else, basically. And uh, but this whole time, like he didn't know what was going on, and it's like so where it was talking about the possession and stuff, and it's like. It's like, was everything in his mind, or did he really do it? And I think that maybe the ending is not so conclusive. It's kind of like stuff that you have to draw for yourself. I don't remember all the details of everything, but there's like stuff that's uncovered in the end. And it's one of those movies that kind of messes with your mind. But the whole thing is just like creepy, and there's nothing else like it. Like I'm thinking about... I mean, there's a lot of good movies that have a lot of atmosphere, but this really sticks out for me. I'm thinking, like, Suspiria has a lot of atmosphere, but it's different because it's so colorful and everything, and this is a lot more dark, and I don't know. They just did this movie perfectly. This is just, like, a perfect horror movie, and it's, like, one of the scariest movies, too, that I can think of. You know, there's quite a few, but... This movie will creep you out because it draws you in. And, like, if you watch this alone, like, in the dark, and you let yourself get, like, sucked into this world and the bizarre things that goes on in this movie and stuff, it's going to startle you. It's going to creep you out. And, like, the voices on the recording and stuff are going to give you chills and they're going to stick with you later after the movie like in the dark when you're by yourself you're gonna think about it at least it did for me anyway i mean it's very effective but it's so great and you know it's not like bloody and gory and stuff and it's not like cgi monsters or ghosts or anything it's just just messing with your mind with with what's going on and there's a scene, too, that's a pretty big scene in this movie where, like, there's kind of, like, a younger kid that's helping them out, like, the youngest one. He's kind of creeped out, and there's a part where he's, like, running, and he's scared, and he's, like, running down a hallway. And there's, like, no power in the building. They have, like, their own generator or whatever, I guess. And, like, there's all these lights down the hallway, and, like, they're all going out, and he's, like, running, screaming because it's, like, in the dark, and he doesn't want to get, like, lost down there, like, in complete darkness. And it's terrifying, and you feel like how he feels, and it's like, man, that's an awesome scene. There's so many good scenes. Like, it talked about the medieval medical pr procedures. This involves, like, lobotomy, where they have, like, the tool, like, that they stick, like, behind their eye or whatever. And I think one of those guys might actually have it, like, in his eye. Like, he finds it later on. He finds it, like, um... He's digging through a hole in the wall because he sees, like, a coin or something, and then, like, that lobotomy tool comes out, whatever that's called. And he's like, oh, what's this? This is cool. This is weird. And, like, later on, I think we find him, like, with it, like, in his eye, like they did. And so... Is it, like, just evil that was there that got, like, unleashed, and... It just really messes with you but yeah there's not a lot to look on the back of here but like there's the chair I was talking about David Caruso Peter Mullen Brendan Sexton the third Stefan Gevedon Josh Lucas okay there's nothing in there but anyway check it out it's definitely top-notch quality horror movie material so every horror enthusiast should see this. And, you know, I know I'm kind of in the way of the trailer, but you see some of the scenes outside and stuff where they're talking about, like, taking the job, like, how long is the job going to take or whatever. And he's saying, you know, his crew is going to get it done really quick. You see, like, the dark corridors and, like, the suits that they're wearing there, the protective gear. And then they find, like, these photographs and stuff. There's the tape that's playing of that inmate that has the multiple personalities. There's the lobotomy tool. So, it's like the guy with the multiple personalities. Like, I think one of his personalities, like, kill the other personalities. Or, like, some of his personalities are scared of the other personalities. And then he has, like, his monster personality. And you listen to this messed up stuff, and it's just, it's creepy. Uh, anyway, gotta check it out, guys. 
All right, that's it. God bless.